So it's Seftai, I guess her name is. So this woman's face looks broken, and she is covered in scars. They look like bite marks and fingernail cuts. She is cradling the shreds of several rags in her hands and is staring emptily at the wall of the monument. Uh, the name's there. Greetings. Oh god. Get you back. The women's teeth peel back, displaying a row of black canines. What you want of Sevtai? Sevtai? I don't know how you, how you actually say her name. But whatever, Sevtai. What's the matter? What's wrong? Those... Cos... <laughs> Chaos... Chaos men wrecked my car, attacked me, and killed three of my sisters who tried to stop them. Not sisters anymore. Now they nothing... Are these nothing but names on this memorial wall? Chaos men? Chaos men, a faction, they says. What they are is an adult bunch that runs wild through the hive and does whatever they please. We never did no harm to them. Then they lope in like dogs and tear apart anything within their reach. Who are these chaos men who attacked you? They're a hive again. Bun bunch of A bunch of adult sods that call themselves the... The... Starved Dogs Barking. Or some such balmy nonsense. Uh, okay. You know, I wouldn't mind penning some men in the dead book for some coin. You got the copper. We'll talk terms. Yeah, sure. A copper... A copper earring in your purse if you pen three of those murdering sods in the dead book. Dead book. Jig. I'll see to it that they're... That they're put in the dead book. Can you tell me where they might be found? Go out the south gate, spirewood from here. So spirewood must just be their way of saying southwest. Yeah. Then walk around at the block until you come to a place where men run in circles. Howling at the sig si sky. There's the staff dogs, they are. I'll go look for them then. I think before I do that, I might want to rest. Yeah, going into this with half health would be a bad idea. <laughs> not to say it would definitely kill me, but I would not, you know, have high hopes of actually surviving. But thankfully, I can stay in the tomb for free. Yeah, I don't have to worry about it. So good. Oh yeah, I keep wanting to rest that way. Is there actually a way of... Yeah, whatever. Combat log. Oh god, yeah. I'm so glad I don't have the combat log on, because this stuff... It's advanced D&D, or it's D&D rule set, and it's confusing as all hell. So it's like... I think what you have to do is roll a, like higher than a number to hit, and if you roll lower than a certain number, you miss. Let's try and find... Yeah, there. Attack roll. 2 plus 2 means he missed. So he rolled a 2 out of a 20. It's it's a cool rule set, but my god, it can be confusing. Quick loop. <gasps> uh, oh yeah, that must be what I dropped. Where the hell did I... Oh, I dropped it there. Really? Oh shit, so I did. That's where my disguise went. Did it really get dropped here? Oh my god. If it did, I can't believe I missed it. Rested for 16 hours. Oh man. Wait, so 16 hours would still probably be night time, would it not? Oh no, it's day time. Hey! Well, am I glad. So, if I actually go to... Uh, journal. I completely forgot what I was trying to do. There it is. Help Sevtai get her revenge. So, what did she say? A few blocks directly south of the mortuary. Probably find these starved dogs there. I mean, I can try. I do want to save. One thing I need to remember to do is, you know, make frequent saves. We might be- are we on day two now? <gasps> Whoa. Unprecedented. Done. Done. So, directly south, and we'll find men running in circles, apparently, howling at the sky. I get the feeling they're around here. Oh, either that or they are around here, because I do remember seeing a bunch. There's a harlot. Maybe- maybe I've already killed them. Hmm. If I go this way, what happens? That moves us. Oh. Oh! No, that's Dark Alley Shiv. Oh god. Uh... Oh dear. Green Stranger, looks like you're in Dark Alley Shiv territory. Now looks like you got a purse that could use some lightning. Better pray it's got enough. Uh, I'm out of here. Thank you. <laughs> oh god, yeah, I'm out of here. I didn't actually want to attack them. I just wanted to leave. <laughs> oh no! Right, so we're, we're still in the hive. Oh my goodness. I'm gone. Unless, can I go... No, there's nowhere over here. 
I'm just trying to think where they could be. Because we was over there, that's the Dustman Monument, they said it was just to the south. Hmm. And these are just hive dwellers. I am thinking that maybe I've already killed them, but I don't think I have. I love watching them things just smack the wall. And also, I don't know why, but when I saw Dark Alley Shiv, I was like, oh god, these guys are tough. But it seems they weren't. They only did one damage, but there were four of them. So these are all just hive dwellers. That's the tomb. There's another hive thug. Hmm. Anna. Okay. I'm assuming this is the bar. Yep. God, she didn't shut up. They did say south of the mortuary, did they not? Maybe I could go in here and down this way. I mean, I don't think it goes anywhere else. Oh, maybe. Hang on a minute. Oh, ho, ho. who are you? Oh. Okay, Mark. I just like that. It's, hey, we're being a watch chief. <laughs> just act natural. Casual. As long as they don't attack me, I'm not bothered. It's when they attack me is when I start to be bothered. They're not important people, though. I mean, they're just called Dustman. As opposed to actually having a name like John. Although, in a game like this, why would they be called John, of all things? This is my usual... Like OCD coming out. I really like to uncover literally everything. So I'm trying to find out where the bloody hell the dogs are. Hmm. Wait, Bane the Sender. Alright. So there's more hive dwellers, lots of hive dwellers. I think we've actually uncovered everything. I just mostly just want to find out if I have. Wait, where's this? No, this doesn't lead anywhere. Okay. Thought it might. So where does this lead? Oh, one thing I should do is look at the, uh, map. So this is still the hive. Oh god, where the hell are we? This is still the hive. So, Parferon. This place is crazy. Is this where there's dark shivs too? Or is that somewhere else? <laughs> Bloody hell. Hey, you! Hey, Cutter! Oh god. What the hell? Ma? He's constantly... Psst. Psst. Wanna earn some jink? Hi, thugs. Seeking company, Cutter? Not from you. <laughs> I love hearing all just the ambient noise. Hey, Cutter. My god, it didn't stop, does it? Jesus. I mean, I'm, I'm just really looking, not looking forward. I'm just enjoying taking in the scenes. We got harlots, collectors. I can go elsewhere, it seems. Interesting. Right, yeah, I'm going back to where I just was. Better, better, better. Alrighty ho. Does it actually tell you where you can lead? To the ally, uh, ally, Alley of Dangerous Angles, Shalandra's Kip, the Mausoleum. Oh! Dustman's Bar, Gathering Dust Bar. Ah, oh, the Southeast. Oh, that's, whoops. That's where I need to go. I didn't realize this was actually somewhere I could go to. Yeah, now I see. Whoops. That's where I needed to go. Maybe. <laughs> now I realize. No, I just assumed this wasn't you know, something you could interact with or move to. I also want to disable quick loop because I hate having that toolbar. Oh my, come chat with me a bit, love. There's a lot of harlots. Like, a whole lot of harlots. The worst part is, they sound like... They don't sound super attractive. But the way they look in the game, I mean... Yeah, this is like a super old game, so they don't look that great either, but... From their model, you can tell they're meant to look attractive. But then the, the description the game gives them. Oh my god. It's just gross. Damsel in distress. She is totally setting us up a trap. I, I'm pretty sure I remember this. I could be completely wrong. But I'm almost certain there was a damsel in distress that you talked to. 
and it just leads to a complete trap. You see a pretty young woman, her hair is in disarray, and the but 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 bodies of her dress is torn. Or bodies. No idea. She looks about in desperation and then notices you. <laughs> Greetings. She runs up to you and grabs your arm. You notice the front of her dress is stained with blood. Help me cut her, please. They're killing my sister. She begins to tug on your arm. Who? She looks around wildly. This drunken man who followed us from one of the taverns. We thought he meant no harm. Please cut her. There is no more time. Help us. Uh. Oh. Okay, I've caught her out, it seems. Wait, first you said they were killing your sister, and now you say he is killing her. Which is it? She stares at you, unsure of what to say. I, I'm distraught. I made a mistake. She glances at the blood that stains her dress. Please, help me cut her. Examine the blood on her dress. You glance down at her dress and look at the blood. Although it does appear to be real, it is completely dried. It must be hours old. That blood is hours old. What are you up to? You see her eyes flick to the blood stains and then back to you. You think you can hear a hint of nervousness in her voice. You are mistaken, Cutter. Please help me. My sister lies dying while we tarry. Oh, here we go. Truth. You're up to something. Tell me what's going on or I'll kill you. There we go. She looks into your eyes and then glances at the scars that cover your body. She swallows nervously and you see her pale before your eyes. I... I'm supposed to lure people into an ally... An ally? God, I can't read. An alley nearby. They're waiting there to take your drink. She looks at you apprehensively. Let me give you some advice. She gazes at you in silence then nods her head. Don't pick someone like me as your mark. Choose some drunken fop who looks like he's never seen a battle in his life. She nods once curtly, and make sure he looks like he has more than a couple coins to his name. Now, get out of here. She nods curtly, then backs away from you. She hesitates for a moment and turns to leave. Thank you, Cutter. She sprints off. I knew it! Wait a minute, I'm curious where she goes. Probably to the north. I, I freaking remembered that. Oh, maybe, I don't even remember if I did that, to be honest. Which is weird, because I definitely remember something like that happening. Oh, there we go. Arroof! These guys are stupid. Is there only two of them? I thought that there was three. Angry hive dweller. Look at them. Oh, okay, they're just constantly wandering. Let's have a word, mate. Oh, man. Give a long fall on hell. I love that that, that is one of my options. So this wild-eyed man is hunched over, barking and howling at the top of his lungs. Beneath his thick, matted hair, you can make out a series of strange tattoos. They run the range from screaming faces to bizarre geometric shapes to what appear to be lines of verse. He is almost naked, but the dirt and filth colouring him gives him a semblance of modesty. Give him a long fall on howl. The man wails on you as he hears your howl, then gives a lopsided grin as he throws his head back, howling with you. He stops a few moments later, then resumes his loping about, snarling and barking like a feral dog. <laughs> Snarl back at him, baring your teeth. Ah, oh, there we go. The man's barking ends with a snarl and he leaps at you. If this is how you die- Oh, you want to die, Wolfman. Oh my god. I love how everybody in the area just, you know, gets weapons out. What the f fucking hell? That hit me for a lot. Uh, excuse me, what the hell do you think you're doing, dick? Wait, hold up. Eh. Pause. I keep forgetting that you can do, like, strategic pause. I don't know what the, like, a good weapon to use is. Fist irons. Yeah, let's fucking switch it up, why not? Punch him! Wait, so have I got a combat log? See, that's the thing that... It doesn't exactly confuse me, I understand the concept. It's more the fact that so much happens in such a small amount of time that it's really confusing. I wins! Ah, oh, shit. I'm running out of space. So there's one, two. That's not the second snarling howl, dude. Or starved dog, barking thug, whatever. Semblance of modesty. Greetings! The man whirls on you and gives a low growl. He draws out the growl for a few seconds and bark starts barking violently at you. In the distance you can hear answering barks. I said greetings. Okay. This is how you die, wolfman. Oh my god, it does so much. Oh no! Oh dear. Ah, oh, shit! Uh, crap. How do I... Ugh. I can't remember how I heal. What do these actually do? Heal three hit points. Use. There we go. 
My goodness. I'm hurt. Are you fucking serious? Wait, do I have anything else that like does more? Heals nine. I can't use that though. Shoot. Unless I equip it. Or maybe like that's a ground item. Quick item. Yeah, I do not care. <laughs> it's just... I can do it that way. That, that works too. Oh my god. I can't believe how much he did. Maybe using the irons is a bad idea. Wait, so if I do F1, does that equip the... I don't know. I keep pressing all the wrong stuff. So I can select weapon. F1 is what would select the arm. F2 is the pry bar. Oh, it does actually change. Huh. It's a very minute detail. Cool. Right, so we've killed two of the hive dudes. Ah, oh, crap. I didn't want all of them on me. Christ. Shit. Also, I think I'm just going to go with this. The Crescent Hatchet. Oh, well. How? I'm hurt. Great. I I'm like super confused. Sure, why not? Oh god. Crap. I wanted the nameless one to run away. And I wanted Mart to attack. Sure, why not? There we go. If Mark could just attack it would be fantastic. I don't want to give these things, like, a chance to attack, but they're definitely going to. Do I have anything else that would recover? 2 to 8 hit points. That may have been a complete mistake, but I don't care. I still can't believe how much damage I have taken. And why they don't seem to attack more. It's like the most confusing. Oh, now they run away. Great. Oh, he ran into a corner. Oh, no, he didn't. Oh, yeah, he did. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah! We got him. I think it all depends. Like, who, they, who attacks them first? <laughs> and so it continues. My god. On the plus side, I am um, freeing up inventory space. Yeah, so it would appear. Oh god, no. Oh, fuck. I really, really ran into a real bad place. Yep, nope. Uh, crap. I really hope this leads back to, like, up above. I also need to find the other... other dude. Oh, he's, he's also... <laughs> I never even realised. There was one that we hadn't killed. There we go. He had another bronze oh, a bronze ring. Just like all the others. Oh, Christ, really? I want Mart to attack first. What? No, 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 no. When I say Mart attack first, I fucking mean it. Jesus. What? What? There we go. Yeah, leave Mart to it. <laughs> With his chattering teeth. Oh dear. Damn it. Are you shitting me? Why do they keep running? I mean, it's what I do, so it makes sense. It's it still sucks. What's up, Chief? What's up, Chief? Okay. We're gonna say attack, please. Hey, be wise, Chief. Just look natural. What the it's fuck the is word, happening? Chief. I'm gonna say I'm trying to get him to attack, but nothing happened. How weird. I'm just leaving Mart to doing all the attacking. It seems to work. There's more coppers. Another earring. Oh my god. Another one ran away as well. I know that much. There he is. As he's continuing to run away. Fucking... Mm. I'm trying to attack him, but like clicking on him with the attack curse is a pain. Damn. Damn. Wait, I've got... How did I have 42 health? What happened? 
Was it because of the embalming fluid? Oh, it actually could have been. I have no room. Well, in that case... What's up? You pick it. Wait. Sure, why not? Hang on. I'm gone. I'm trying to figure out where it is. There it is. Yeah. yeah. Okay. There you go. Woohoo! Right, now everybody. Spells. No spells. Special ability. Raise dead. Ooh. He has a litany of curses. Huh. As for weapons, his bite. So he does just... He bites everything. I'm gone. Makes sense. Hmm. There's a lot of stuff here. Like, we've got... The tattoo parlor. Painted door to the tenement of thugs. The smoldering corpse bar. I really want to kill the other dog. Yeah, wherever they are. <laughs> but there's also a bunch of thugs that I still think want to kill me. So uh, finding them could be a... I would say it could be a pain, but you'd have to look for somebody that's doing like... Aru! And they kind of stick out like a sore thumb. I would say so. They're just regular old thugs. I would rather not get on that. Fuck me. Bad side. There's so many. Again, I would rather get, like, not get on their bad side, but Jesus, what? There are no hostile creatures. Oh, wait, there probably is. Oh, shite. How many? I really hope it's just the one. What? Great. I must have just hit any damage he manages to do. Hey! Very nice. Another one. Great. What's up, Chief? What's up, Chief? This is why quick loot would be useful. Because I could just switch to a character and then whatever. Might just be easier to do that way. Turn it on and then turn it off. So these are still just hive thugs. All right. And harlots. What the hell? Come on in, Cutter! Oh, sh oh god, there is more of them. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god, there's so many! Oh, I don't like it! And these guys are like... Oh, it's a super high level. They just look like they're in really tough gear. Still trying to figure out where the other one is. Yeah, the other, you're the tout. Definitely nearly called them a trout. Wait. Oh, it's just a random ass thug. Okay. I'm probably utilizing this far too much, but... I'm getting my ass handed to me. So much. And I don't think that's down to, you know, not putting points into whatever. I rested for a full day. Jesus. Yeah, I don't think it's down to not putting points into certain attributes. It's mostly down to just not hitting. And the enemy is only seeming to go for the nameless one, as opposed to, you know, going for the nameless one or Mort. It just kind of sucks that they don't go for Mart for whatever reason. I have only killed two of the dogs, haven't I? Is that the other one? Nope. Well, she hit. If I check my... Che I can't remember the button. Okay, there we go. Hang on, the fact it's... Oh, never mind. I was going to say, the fact it's white means I've done it, right? I need to kill three of them. So I've killed two. Also, I love that guy's name. Mons for trees! Whoa, what? They weren't there before. <laughs> Alright, don't want to mess about. Great more of these. Jesus Christ. Alright, the thing is, I'm not entirely sure what I'd want to use. Didn't want to do that. 1 to 6 crushing. Speed 4. 1 to 6 crushing, speed 4. 2 to 4 crushing, speed 1. So that's like super useful. 2 to 7. Thacko negative 1. I have no idea what the Thacko is. What about that? 1 to 3 piercing. It breaks. Great. Just what you want. What about the jagged knife? 1 to 3 slashing. Pardon me. That could be good. The crescent hatchet does not sound that good though. No, it just doesn't. Oh, there we go. 
I did not want to go into the middle of this. Great. I mean, if we can just hurt them enough so they run away, that's fine. One down. Oh, nice. Oh, he has no room either. Shite. Ah, uh, not me, Spellbook. What am I doing? I get the book and the inventory screen button mixed up. So what does that do? Invokes Swarm Curse. Of course. We have Junk. Mmm. And there's the Mortuary Reminders. Embalming. God, there's so much crap. Also the runes. Of course, how could we forget those? Mmm. I really should put these in my like quick slot, but whatever. So ancient copper. Uh, I remember this. Yeah, it had something special to do with it. Charcoal. Okay. And then we also have our disguise, I suppose. I'm just trying to think what I could get rid of. Have an earring. <laughs> right. Oh yeah, we have Pen's Note. I think I remember reading this? Finding out something before we do. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I remember reading that. And then we have the triangle earring. Identify. I can't. I think I might need, like, higher intelligence for it to work. Cleaning rags. I'll just drop that. That's not gonna be able to... God damn it. Holy okay. fuck, that scared me. Oh my goodness. I don't know, it was not expecting it. To just, I don't know, build up all the different things. Stealth, charisma. Uh, okay. Wait, does Mort have any rat charms? Oh my god, he does. Boom. Now he has three. Perfecto. Much better. No, oh, don't need to worry about it now. Still need to find the other bloody dog. Where are you? Oh yeah, and these guys keep running away. I keep forgetting that. Why must they always just run? Oh, you, you screwed now, buddy. No, no, you're not, because you found a way out. Arsehole! What else could I use? Pry bar. Kick his ass! I'm trying to click him, but God, it just isn't working. Jesus. Mm. He's gonna run into that alley, I know it. And of course, there are fucking more of them. Oh, they never stop, do they? <laughs> Jesus. Come on. Damn. Critical miss. May as well just call a critical miss a critical fail. Fuck my life. Come on. Thank you. I thought I killed him. Ah, oh, crap. No, we're in a real predicament. There we go. One down. How am I constantly missing? There you go. <laughs> and I mean sell it to a local merchant for a bit of coin. Fuck my life. This just sucks because I don't know where a local merchant is. Right, come on. Right, so now he's injured. Now he's badly injured. Now he's nearly dead. No. Mm. And then of course they always revert to their usual. Fuck my life. I hate this. <laughs> just the fact that they always run away. It's so stupid. I mean, they're smart for doing so, it's just kind of a pain to catch up to them and kill them. Look at that, boom. God. Actually, what could be a good idea is talking to one of the touts. Whoa. Yeah, maybe they could tell us where there's a merchant, because uh, that's kind of what I need. Oh, shit. There. Kill him, please. There, now we're targeting him. We should just follow him until he gets stuck. Thank you. Hallelujah. So, Hive Thug, Hive Dweller. They're harlots. Where's the tout? Wait, collector. Maybe we'll say, I've killed some people. Greetings. So, this man is draped in filthy, tattered brown robes. I was going to say they look grey, but no, no, they're brown. A long hood concealing most of his face from view. 
You see his eyes narrow beneath his hood, he takes a step back, what do you want? What are you doing? I'm looking for some damned bodies, is what I'm trying to do. But you think the dead powers... ...had packed up their kip and left the planes. The way people are staying healthy and all, there is a sudden gleam in his eye. We had a pox last month and it was a glorious time it was, bodies stinking to the high heavens and plenty of jink to be had too. Why are you looking for bodies? He looks surprised. Well... You hold the blighters to the mortuary. Uh, there you talk to the dusties. Haggle a little and get a few bits of jink. Why do the dustmen buy the bodies? They gather the dead, it's their job. They pay us to cover more area and bring any bodies we find to him. Then they make sure that the blighter's body goes to its proper place and get, or get, gets cremated. They're all serious about it. They're balmy philosophy, but it just means more jink for me, he winks. What is this place? He frowns at you. You're in the hive, of course. Dirtiest bit in all the sigil. Where are you from, Cutter? You're from Prime or something? No. Why are you looking for bodies? Yeah, we've already had this. Do-do-do-do.